Morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. How are Debrief of dress rehearsal. We started out, everything started out really very, very good. We actually went on uh, mission hold twice because we were ahead of schedule, which is a good thing. Situational awareness is key. Uh, all of us working together, working on the same lists, working on the same systems. Overall, I think that this dress rehearsal was, was a, a huge success. Well, I think we're battery charging uh, 15, 15 or and get the yeah, rehearsal's critical for a big event like this and uh, thankfully tonight everything went wonderfully well. Uh, crew were on their game, we had a great run through of all the tests and systems and actually a couple of times we got ahead of the schedule, which is a really good sign, so. The rehearsal is key. Uh, it sets the pace. It shows everybody needs to be on time so that nothing's delayed because our weather window is so small sometimes. We all have to be on time. We'd rather be sitting here totally ready to go, waiting on weather. These rehearsals get us to that point. We're through with the dress rehearsal on Man Balloon Flight 3. It's a really important part to bring the team together, get everybody operating, make sure everything works. The cameras on, on Stratos with the, you know, the definition of what they're going to come up with, with 19 different high definition cameras. I mean, the level of what they're collecting as far as data is, is just uncompared. A lot of the same data that was developed on Joe's jumps back 52 years ago, that same data now but recorded in much higher fidelity to more detail. That data is really important for groups like NASA, or the U.S. Air Force, Air Force Surgeon General, General Travis. You look at the data that Joe had and it's amazing to look at that. And you look at the fidelity of what we're creating here uh, and it's just amazing. And I haven't seen all of the footage. There's so much information. Every time I start looking at it, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, the public, if they go on redbullstratus.com, I mean, it's more than you could ever imagine. And, and it's updated all the time. 
So we're really excited that the cameras, uh, you know, worked so great on the previous flights, and here comes the capsule back from the flight line. We just con conducted an RF test, and uh, all the cameras and all the radio systems are working great. But this will this will give them a rapid fire on the camera, and there's it's two minutes now. It's programmed for two Good. minutes. Operating cameras in a uh, near space condition is a very brutal environment and uh, things are too hot, things are too cold, there's no air to cool cameras down, condensation issues. So it was really challenging to come up with uh, brand new state-of-the-art camera systems that uh, could be tested 